Adolf Eichmann has been called um, the architect of the Holocaust. He's been called several other things as well. The story of the play is the story of uh, how the Mossad found him and went to Argentina and kidnapped him and tried to get him back to Israel to stand trial. There's just an iconography around Eichmann that's just very heavy. And a Nazi story, you know, there have been a lot of them. What really interested me was this section of the book, a small section of the book, about the experience of being in the safe house with Eichmann. I thought this was just very interesting stuff and, and very theatrical. There were so many different things going on in this story with this guy and this experience of spending time with Eichmann over these 10 days that I just said, this, this is a play. It's where the whole phrase, the banality of evil, comes from. And I think it's an important part of Evan's play that we actually humanize him as a character. So rather than putting on stage, you know, a, a sort of Warner Brothers version of an evil Nazi, we're putting on stage a human being who created these horrible, heinous crimes. The first thing that uh, struck me about the material was the de depiction of, of Eichmann himself because it was very confusing to me and uh, uh, fascinating to me and uh, upsetting. And um, I hadn't seen in a play or a movie or a book uh, this kind of investigation of one of those people who, uh, who was significantly involved in, in the Holocaust. He was this, this kind of mastermind, this very dark, sinister mastermind. And what was surprising to Malkin, the soldier who captured him, and I think to the world, is that when he went on trial, when people heard him speak, when Malkin was in the room alone with him, that he felt like an ordinary man. Peter Malkin lost about 150 of his relatives in the Holocaust. But he's not immune to the fact that Eichmann is a human being. And that is enormously complicating for, uh, for a person who, who has such so, 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 so a strong sense of vengeance. But to me, there's a, there's a real question of whether or not Malkin himself understands the relationship that ends up developing. It would be as if the soldiers who had caught bin Laden were told by the U.S. government that you, you have to sit in this house with him for 10 days, you might not get him out of the country, you can't kill him, and as though those, if those Navy SEALs had lost family in 9-11. Like it would, it's that kind of, a, of a, um, an emotional uh, pressure cooker. This play was not about playing it safe. It wanted to go there. You know, already at some point, some people have asked me, how could you write a play about Eichmann? You know, we just, we just plunged into it right from the beginning. We were going to write this play. It was time to tell the story. I think it's more comfortable to think that all the evil in the world is perpetrated by fanatical monsters who, you know, and the truth is, no, the truth is a lot of what's considered evil in the world is, well, acts performed by very ordinary, very human people.